What is good YouTube, Warshed you here with a video on Arrow Season 7, Episode 2, called The Longbow Hunter. So yes, finally Arrow's got over their drought of having a good first episode, then a tragic second episode. So finally, they've got over that. So that's awesome. So we had a pretty solid episode with a lot of character development. If you're new to the channel, we mainly do Marvel and DC content all week long so make sure to check out the rest of the content on the channel there's over 1000 videos so there should be something that you maybe think's okay at least so let's get in the video so oliver's been in solitary because of the kind of prison fight the savageness in the last episode when he smacked that barbell weight around someone's face and then it starts pretty interesting so stan lee the character that's been put in jail for nothing seems to be coming up with sinister plans so danny brick aka vinnie jones has the info about ricardo diaz oliver wants it he wants him to do something for him he wants him to get rid of the main officer and stanley comes up with these crazy sinister plans i'm starting to think that this stanley character is actually working for diaz and he's actually a badass fighter but no one knows about it he just seems a bit too sweet and innocent and doesn't have a clue with what's going on when realistically he is the mastermind and he's most likely working with ricardo diaz so we get to find out a bit more about william future william and future arsenal roy harper so felicity has sent him to the island for some reason but it still begs to differ of why future roy harper left star city and why he's gone to liang yu obviously william william this is the first time he's been been to the island since the season finale arrow is season six but obviously this is a flash forward so it's 15 years ahead in time so he wouldn't have been there since his mother was killed by prometheus so it's very weird for him to go there but felicity sent him there she, he was given a sentimental item for reconnection and roy harper knew exactly what to do with it they want roy harper to go back to current day so i guess you could theorize now that maybe he is the green arrow the fake green arrow but for some reason stuff got nasty and he had to leave the island so maybe that's why he's been there for years Something got nasty sometime down the line because we don't know if oliver's still alive in current day obviously in the flash forward scene because he said that his father and felicity sent him have abandoned him for some reason now we don't know if oliver's dead we're gonna find out but it's almost to me like they're setting this season up for the green arrow to be finished after this whole season because i don't think it makes any sense otherwise if it's not last season so what i think is going to happen is the flash forward scenes are going to come to premise and we're going to find out what happened in the current day and eventually we're going to see felicity and oliver if he's alive 15 years in the future which is going to make for some compelling story lines so we are introduced to some new character we're introduced to silencer part of the longbow hunters kodiak who is also one of the new longbow hunters and we're also introduced to dart i mean none of these actually except for kodiak can fight silencer she can just literally silence black canary and black science supersonic frequency but to be honest seeing this if you've read the comics you know how savage the longbow hunters are their power level they set them up last season i don't know how long they're actually going to stick around for but at the moment a set for robin and technology that could essentially blow up a whole city to like the battery could blow up the whole city they didn't really do anything and i wasn't really impressed with their fighting skills i was impressed with the fight that happened throughout the episode john diggle getting into a fight with ricardo diaz using a flamethrower was pretty savage but what was weird was john diggle owned ricardo diaz and ricardo diaz is a master of fighting he's a sensei he's a martial arts master and john diggle just owns him pretty much although the choreography was pretty sweet it just happened a bit too easy do you not think guys it just happened so easily so what is going on with these flash forward scenes um it, i i don't know because obviously throughout the episode they dig something up and it's oliver's bow and there's a message on it and they essentially want roy harper to go back to the city to go back to star city so it's a bit strange really is a bit strange of these flash forward scenes no ideas what's going on so obviously black siren this year is play, playing the da but now we find out she's going to have a redemption arc 
she is going to become our Laurel. She apologizes to Dinah Drake, aka Black Canary, saying, I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope you will in time. And then they go and try to find out who is actually at this building. Turns out to be the silencer. The silencer is a new character. She silenced both their supersonic frequency, but when they both start doing this canary cry or sonic scream, whatever you want to call it, it breaks it and then she goes flying. So that's pretty cool. And that's followed up by the whole John Diggle thing. They get the battery back and then we're left with a shot of the longbow hunters with Richard Dragon. I believe he's the leader of them in his TV show, looking forward. And we know they're going to keep coming back and back and back. Felicity throughout this episode was kind of irritating a bit. She was savage. She just wanted to get Ricardo Diaz. She used John Diggle, used his kind of connection. But John Diggle wasn't having any of it. He wants to Oliver honor what Oliver wanted by using Argus and not hooding up, which is kind of good, interesting. So I guess the main narrative, John Diggle gets a lot of credit, a lot of character development. Now... Curtis isn't really irritating. He's just doing his job, helping out, using his spheres to kind of help out throughout. So it's a pretty solid episode. So Oliver has to cross the line. So to join Brick's team, Oliver has to get rid of the main prison officer that's been dealing with him. He doesn't want to kill him. So he kind of gets into an argument with him, stabs himself to get rid of him. But the most ridiculous thing ever is Oliver's being stabbed and they just drag away the police like, like the prison officer instead of helping oliver which is kind of interesting and it sets up for a really good narrative of next week's episode looks so cool so felicity is so annoyed that obviously they kept their part of the bargain oliver went to jail but so far samantha watson hasn't taken down diaz so she has lied she hasn't really done a lot so it's very compelling storytelling it's gonna play out for a good story i, I presume that basically black siren is going to turn into laurel lance earth one which is kind of good but also it's kind of like well what's the point of killing her off if you're going to introduce a different earth version and make her our laurel kind of annoying i mean i've been watching flash since sorry arrow and flash since it started since they both started so i love Kate Cassidy, she's such a great actor. She nails the role. I do think she plays the Black Siren role much better than she did Black Canary, obviously Laurel Lance. But let's be honest, she's got powers now, so she's a bit more empowered. So that's pretty much what happened. If you do, let me know what you think about everything, what I said. Pretty good episode. Really looking forward to find out. Are the Longbow Hunters the main villains this season? Or are they just short-term villains? It's going to be so so interesting to find out where this season going i'm not going to drag out this video like some people do and make a video 28 minutes long for no reason there it wasn't realistically guys a lot to talk about in this episode but i went over the main points i think essentially roy harper will actually teach william to become the next green arrow like everyone thought like i thought a few seasons ago so i i presume that's where that's going um, but that's it. Not really that much happened overall. Wild Dogs was pretty quiet this episode. Didn't really get much to say. But I feel like the biggest stinger from this episode is actually Stan Lee. What is he doing? Is he the mastermind? Is he Diaz's right-hand man? I honestly think he is. There's something fishy going on there. And obviously these flashback scenes are going to go throughout. I guess they will get annoying because they're, they're giving you more questions and answers, which is good for content creators, but I'm not really making any bonus arrow videos or flash videos too much at the moment so many anyway, guys put your thoughts down below please like subscribe and comment it does help the channel grow we are adding more and more flash and arrow content the more we get into this i understand that this has been heavy marvel the last few months but we're getting more and more into that dc tv dc world dc kind of stuff so i am really enjoying getting back into the heritage of the channel getting back into the dc content if there is any requested videos you have just drop me a message at warstewbusiness at gmail.com but i've got a question for you guys is stanley behind everything is there something going on we are not actually seeing what's going on in these flash forward scenes i will make a video of what i think is going on with roy harper and william in these future scenes let me know all your ideas down below guys so we can make a collaboration video also i will be making a video about what is going on with nora allen and cicada hopefully i can get that out before the episode airs if not i'll make some kind of newer version of that video after the flash 
airs tonight anyway guys like i said we're approaching 50,000 subscribers so thanks for all the love and the hate and support because even if you hate the channel you're really supporting it in a way anyway guys i'll catch you in another video very soon get to you later